Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create the RS Light Frodo from scratch. Um, if you don't know what I mean by scratch, it's basically from the beginning. So, uh, the original folder from the dev team, their redsnow.com website, um, you can create the file from scratch from there. Um, if you don't know that um, in all the other videos, most of them have the pre made. Um, file for you so if you watch my RS Lite folder um, RS Lite jailbreak um, my previous video on the uh, 2G jailbreak um, the folder in the description the link in the description was to a uh, pre-made um, RS Lite folder so uh, this was requested from me by a few of my subscribers so uh, yeah I'm gonna do it for them so uh, Let's get started. By the way, ignore the mud. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is obviously download a few files, um, like all uh, videos that I do. So, um, in this case, we're going to need to download three different files. Um, one is the RS Lite folder, another one is Pornish Tool. And uh, another, the final one is the official 2.1.1 uh, firmware from Apple. Um, all of the links to these folders will be in the description on the right um, if you haven't already got Pornish to the latest version. So, um, you may have noticed that um, the RS Lite folder is a little different to the official one from the redsnow.com website. Um, these two are the di the files that make it a little different. They're labeled in red. Um, the reason why uh, I didn't just tell you to download it from the redsnow.com website was because these two files have uh, commands behind them. And uh, that's quite a lot, as you can see. So it's basically to make the video shorter and a little easier for you because I can't, and me as well, because I can't remember um, all the uh, commands in it. But, um, Yep, yeah, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is open the RS Lite folder and then inside that the README. Then scroll down a little bit to the preparation and step one. Copy the firmware bundles and custom packages directory into your Pornish Tool application. So as I said, we needed to download Pornish Tool. Um, mine's on my desktop at the moment, but what we're going to do is click and drag it over to the RS Lite folder. So now that's in there, we can um, open terminal, uh, just do a search for it with spotlight in the top right, enter, and it uh, should come up with a new window. So in here we're going to do, you may have already know this command if you have jailbroken your iPod touch, um, so cd space squiggly line forward slash capital D desktop forward slash rs light enter. Now what that does is it changes the directory so we're looking specifically at the RS Lite folder. Now what we're going to do is say bash space capital C copy dot txt enter and and it has completed copying the files uh, or the bundle files from these two folders in the RS Lite folder over to your Ponish Tool application. Um, it may not um, be uh, obvious to you that it has done it because there's no um, nothing actually comes up in terminal, but it has done it. So that's the first part done. So now let's go over to the README again and view step two, which is create a custom 2.2.1 firmware with Pornish tool in advanced mode. Don't enable custom boot logos. That's quite an important step otherwise it won't work because um, as you know with the 2G jailbreak you can't actually boot your iPod. So uh, we're just going to close out of terminal and uh, go back to RS Lite and launch Pornish tool. And as always it should come up with the warning message at the start we're just going to click OK to that and um, select expert mode or advanced mode 
as it says in the readme then click iPod touch and continue now it's going to browse for the uh, firmwares if you have a lot of firmwares um, then it could take quite a while when you have the right one it should say a t number two next to the word iPod so uh, I'll come back to you when it has found all the right firmwares okay so as I said um, this is the correct firmware because it has a number two next to the word iPod this is for the second generation and these two are the first generation because of the number one so we're going to select the last one or iPod 2 comma 1 underscore 2.2.1 and click the blue arrow to continue then check custom logos and um, we're going to uncheck boot logo and recovery logo as it said in the readme then continue again and just hit build and um, let Pornish tool do the stuff um, another box come up say where do we want to place the firmware we're going to place it on the desktop just click save and uh, it should start building it so um, I'm going to come back to you when this is done and uh, yeah okay so Pornish tool has finished creating the custom firmware and um, it's now popped up with this message um, we're just going to say yes to this and um, okay to that so now we can close out of Pornish tool clicking the red cross and um, as you can see we now have an official 2.1.1 firmware from Apple and a custom 2.2.1 so we're now going to open up the RS Lite folder again and um, we're going to place the custom one over in the RS Lite folder and also the official 2.1.1 in there so with this one we're going to rename it to 211 okay and then with the custom one we're going to name it 221pwn.ipsw so the custom one is there and the official one is that one so now what we're going to do is open terminal again um, I'm just going to get it from my dock and uh, we're going to type the uh, change directory code in again so cd space squiggly line forward slash capital D desktop forward slash rs light enter then what we're going to do is say bash space capital U unzip dot txt and click enter and it should now start um, making the other files that we will need to uh, jailbreak the iPod Touch 2G so um, Terminal is going to do some things with those uh, firmwares and uh, inflating so I'll just wait for this to do um, its stuff so there we go it is now uh, completed and um, we're left with these three files um, these two folders can now be deleted because they're finished with so just select those and say command delete and uh, just move these file, file, files up a bit and uh, that is a now completed RS Lite folder so we can now close out terminal and um, move these firmwares back out and also Pornish tool and uh, then we're ready this uh, folder is completely done so you can uh, now continue with jailbreaking it so um, thanks please subscribe rate and comment uh, and that's about it so bye